Hey everybody, my name is Mr. Dipper, and today we're going to talk about the Vibe Driver app. Um, there's been a lot of people asking exactly how the process works and what is it that I'm needing to do and all these different things. So I'm going to take you through that here today. Um, first things first, obviously, uh, someone introduced you to Vibe, um, uh, Vibe Rides, and when they did that, um, they more than likely activated you to be a driver, okay? Now, if they didn't already activate you, or even if they did, they're going to give you a six-digit number. That is your activation number. That is an important number that you need to, to hold on to and uh, remember, okay? Um, so first things first, okay? Once uh, you've been uh, activated in the system... Um, you then want to download the app. Um, you either go to the App Store or the Play Store and download the Vibe Driver app. Okay. Once you download it and open up, this is what it looks like. This is the first screen right here. Okay. And you're just going to follow through what it says to do. All right. So the first thing it wants you to do is put in your phone number. Okay, so once you put in your phone number, you'll then hit the, the register button. Okay, and once you do that, it then takes you to uh, a page where you have to uh, click the little I agree to the Vibe Rides Drivers Terms and Service Guidelines. Okay, and once you do that, it brings up the next screen uh, where you put in your basic information. Uh, first name, last name, date of birth, email. Now, that six-digit code that I talked about goes in the next box. It is your invitation slash referral code. Uh, now, I know it says that it's optional there, but um, it, it, it is not. You need to put that six-digit uh, six code in there. Okay? And then, of course, Social Security number, uh, the, the state in which you drive, and then your driver's license number, and then expiration date. All right, once that's all done, you'll hit next. And then it brings up uh, your, your basic uh, address, right? Uh, city, state, zip. Okay. Then once you input all that, you'll hit the next button, which will bring up the next screen, which is it's going to ask for a picture of your driver's license front and back. And so basically you'll click where it says driver's license front, and it'll bring up the camera on your phone and you just take a picture of the driver's license okay uh, if you like the picture you hit save and then it brings you back to the same screen where it wants to take the picture of the back of the license so again click driver's license back it'll open up your camera uh, do the same thing take the picture and once you're satisfied with the picture um, you will hit uh, continue which brings you up to the next screen now want to profile now, we suggest not taking a selfie. And it tells you right there, do not wear sunglasses or a hat. Picture must be taken in a well-lit place. No other people in the picture. Best taken by another person, not a selfie. Okay? So once you've put a good picture up there, obviously hit save and continue. All right? It's pretty simple. Now, it's going to ask you where you live or if you've lived in one of these places over the past seven years. Okay? New York, New York surrounding boroughs, Pennsylvania, Puerto Rico, or any U.S. territory not, or except Puerto Rico. Uh, now, if you, say, live in Florida or Texas or, or Arizona, wherever, if it's not one of those five places, you just hit the, the, no, um, the no I don't at the bottom and then click done or continue okay which brings you up to the final screen it says thank you for completing your driver's profile okay you're done okay um, now the next part is getting your background check done as you see it says it costs 33 dollars to start that process and finish what you're doing here you will hit the submit my application once you hit submit my application, that first part is done. It takes you immediately uh, into the part of the app that goes through your background check. 
okay it's pretty much exactly like we just did here you put in your basic information and hit submit when you're completed now the nice thing is though we're requiring a background check this money that you're uh, spending the $33 um, will be paid back to you after your I think it's your first 10 drives okay it's uh, uh, refundable so um, if you have any other questions you can always go to our Facebook page um, just type in vibe rides into the Facebook search engine and there are all kinds of video tutorials there as well um, talking about the entire program now vibe rides is going to launch live April 1st um, we have spent the past few months gathering drivers to put the infrastructure in place and that time has come to an end so as of April 1st vibe rides will be uh, launched live in Florida and Texas so make sure you get all this stuff done now and so you can be ready to go and you will be one of the first drivers for vibe rides on the road if you're watching this video and you are not in one of those states and you want to learn more about vibe rides and what it's all about uh, please message me leave a comment in the video uh, and get a hold of me and I'll be glad to talk to you thank you very much have a great day